exist on the stand on. Everyone's <coughs> Okay, everyone stand. Come on, Shem. Come on, everyone stand. Everyone standing? Now I want everyone to get on your tippy toes as high as you can go. You on your tippy toes? Now use wisdom. Hold on to something and put your hands up as high as you can go. Now guess what? We just got up a little bit higher, naturally, right? All right. Okay, we're going by the spirit of Have a seat. On Saturday, last week, when we got to the service out there, I looked over at my wife and I said to her, Marina, I said, the message is going to change. Remember that? Well, don't you know, in a few seconds right there, God changed the message for tonight. <laughs> That's why I went and I had to get a pen, y'all. Start right. Is it okay for him to have his way? Before I get started, there's a chorus of a song that I must bless the Lord with. It's an old, old song. When the Spirit of God is moving like this, you know, it's hard to contain yourself in one position because there's so much going on at one time is like And we've come at the crest, going into the Sabbath. And this one, God says, I will speak and the whole earth shall hear me. And he says, seven Sabbaths. And he says, the fourth Sabbath. And when they say it was the fourth Sabbath, and the Lord spoke. Now we come to the seventh Sabbath, and he will speak to us. But he's going to speak to us differently, you from those out there. You understand? He's opening his mouth to speak a word, you One is damnation and destruction and war for eternities of eternities in hell. And the other is everlasting blessings at the same time. What a mighty God. Only a mighty God. So here's what he said to me, and I wrote it down. When you leave out of here, and you go to purchase goods, he said, ask them this question. Is this the best you can do? And then pause in your spirit, and wait for their response. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Ah, I'm, I'm going to tread slowly, y'all. I'm going to take my time and try to behave as best I can. I promise I'm going to try. I really am. Y'all saw me last week. I was on the piano and I was quite calm and cool. And I, was right, I was all composed right together, you know. He says, next word, opportunities. You better be right. You better be right. Seriously. This here. He said, next time, recognize your blessing when it comes. So the opportunities, David, are presenting themselves. And they have presented themselves in times past, y'all. And some we didn't recognize. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, 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 but brace yourself, brace yourself, brace yourself. Because he says, when you call unto me in fasting and prayer, he says, I'll answer you. So you know what he does? 
Somebody say second time around. Second, second time around. See the witness? The first time, he missed the blessing. Went off fasted and prayed. Obeyed instruction. You got to get it. So when you miss the first opportunity, the second time around, learn to obey instructions given to you. Ah. ah. I'll digress for a minute. There's a young man that should be here right now, but because he didn't obey instructions, he only got a part of the blessing. And the rest he'll never get. Uh-oh. Now, wouldn't that be a shame to go through all of this to come to the point of the breakthrough and miss? Because ain't no oil in your life. Remember this. Next sentence. We are all special and deserving. He just focused to me. See, that's why I just wrote it down quick. This is some good stuff, ain't it? Yeah. That's some good stuff, man. <coughs> we are all what? Special, special and, deserving. and deserving. See? You, you got to get the point. We are special to him and to ourselves we are deserving. They have a saying, an old time saying, any way you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. And they take that in many different forms and fashions and interpretations. Oh, bless you, Lord. Woo! Well, it here, so here we go. Thank you, Master. The Lord told me to bestow a special blessing upon you, please. So you're blessed. This is where you hold on. You're blessed. Oh, oh. Woo! I just saw that. Well, bless God. Clap your hands for him, see? <laughs> see, so far, go on. Let me choose at the feet of the clock. You all get it now? You know who you're tonight, right? Rabbi ain't here. It's a prophet here, y'all. So what is happening now is we are special and we're deserving. Now here's the thing. Why the testimonies were so important. Because the testimonies that I heard was concerning these things he gave me. Is this the best you can do? Well, she had to go get another computer. Heck, you see it? You understand? She got one and didn't know what she wanted to do. So she went back. She said, hey, this is the best you can do. Well, guess what she did? This time when she went, she took me. <coughs> you all hearing this? Are you all really hearing this? And Mr. Curly back here wanted a car. I said, man, I said, God answering them prayers. I said, you better get in there. He said, wait a minute, let me catch that. Next thing I know, the night God blessed him with a car. Do you understand following instructions? Huh? Obeying. You see what I'm saying? Because why? I look to God and I say, God, is that the best you have for them? You see it now? Is this the best you can do for purchasing? Opportunities. Next time, recognize your blessing. He says, I will repay you and be obedient to the instructions he gives you. See it? Now, <coughs> that's the birthday and all that in there. But God asked for how many testimonies? Three. How many did we get? Four. Four. Somebody say whole flow. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, in order for me to teach this word tonight, God had to show me that somebody was ready to hear this word. Let me tell you something. This word tonight, when you walk out of these doors, your life will never Ever be the same. You can hear him. You can hear him. That's a good place to be. That's a good place to be. That's a good place. I'll say it again. By the time you walk out of these doors, your life will never ever be the same again. Whatever had you bound, whatever had you were hindered, whatever was holding up some stuff, whatever was causing stuff to be the church, everything coming down tonight. 
Oi, let me get you something. I didn't mess you all up. I'll give you one last one. I really don't right now. I just want to bless you. Is that okay? Can somebody walk out here with extra blessing tonight in their life? Amen. Yeah. Somebody say money coming. Money, money coming. coming. Say money coming. Money, money, money coming. coming. All right. Because we go on in the realm of spirit tonight. The only one thing we pulling out of here, y'all, is some money. <laughs> See, that's why I say if y'all really understand the glory, y'all start shouting right there. Amen. Understand? That's why I call him. Pull him back. Now you have to understand. Let me let me hit you with another song now. These are the days of Elijah. Amen. Elijah's mantle was gold, y'all. Uh-oh. How many times have you seen me pull back this curtain? Never. Never. Not even one time he's told me. You understand? But he says, we're going to go. Remember when I said, I feel it. And she made the second. I said, oh, I feel it now. I feel it now. And I went over there and I lifted the other curtain. Because he wants you to see the glory. Amen. The spirit of Elijah is in the midst of us right now. Hey, 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 hey. Woo! That's why he said, if you call upon me, he said, I will answer thee. And I will show you great and mighty things which thou does not know. Do you understand? So whatever you believe in him for, wherever your faith is at, he said, I got more than enough. Hey, 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 overflow, somebody. Amen. Overflow. You understand? Now, to get to the realm of the spirit now, where we are, and to stay here, we need to be encouraged. So, let me encourage you a little bit. Because it's a preach, teach, shout word. But I, I will slow it down a little bit. Psalms 24. Anybody know what that says? Huh? Psalms 24. Come on. Hey, you all read together. Because everybody got to be going. Earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Uh huh. The world and they that dwell therein. Uh huh. For he had founded it upon the sea. Uh huh. And established it upon the flood. Uh huh. Who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that had clean hands and a pure heart, and had not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from Come the Lord, Come on. and righteousness from the God Come of his salvation. Come on. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Seven. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Stop. Amen. Right here. Amen. Stop right there. For some of y'all, the gates have been shut too long. Amen. Oh. Amen. Oh, am I preaching to the right people in here? Or do I need to go on the street? Y'all better talk to me tonight. I tell you, Joshua ain't here, Pastor ain't here right now. Rabbi ain't even here. The man of God is here, and God has given me the keys to the kingdom. And we can turn loose some stuff tonight. Oh, blessed be called. Oh, bless you. I feel him. I feel him. I feel him down my tunnel. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof and the world and they that dwell therein. Mm -hmm. What did he say? We are all special and we are what? Deserving. Deserving. <coughs> Don't think you can make all these sacrifices and go through all of this junk and put with all of this garbage in the Babylonian system and God will leave you just like that. Amen. Not in this time. That's right. Hello? He said, these signs and one shall follow them that believe. By the time we cut the trailer, God gave us a 40 by 100 size foot building. Do you understand what I'm saying? But now, guess what? He see, you start with the house first. He says, what? I'll start with Jerusalem first. I'll start with Israel house first, right? He said, then the blessing will flow. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And now all of a sudden, J.D. getting stuff and she getting stuff and all kinds of things going on. The dog getting stuff. The people getting stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. The brother come in and testify. How the, the judge doesn't go home. Say, you ain't got nothing on your record. Do you understand what I'm saying? Huh? People start to get blessed all over the place, things happening. Yeah. Huh? So we going up, running to the guy yesterday, he said, look, he said, man, I got the machinery, I know where to go to get the animals and everything. He said, just tell me what you need. He said, in fact, I'll take you. Do you all understand what's going on with this house? Animals are coming, y'all. Come on. Praise the Lord up in here. Amen. He's going to show the praise because what God is doing, he's providing for his people as he said he would. The famine is here, y'all. They ain't coming this here. 
So by Thomas, you better be moved to chase from one place to the next. We lost one. I said, God, you told me I lose nothing. See, you got to stand in the word, y'all. Huh? I was obedient to him. So I said, God, your word says I ain't going to lose nothing. By the time I said, God, I ain't going to lose nothing, somebody come to me and he said, listen, I ain't got some roosters. I'll give you some. Do you understand what I'm saying? So we lost one, and the man told me, I ain't give you some roosters for the one you lost. Yeah. Come on. Amen. 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 Let me leave that. Let me leave that. Let me just leave that. Woo. Now, for he had founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Do you understand now why I say get on your tiptoe? Huh? As far as you can go naturally. But let me tell you all something that you need to know. In the realm of the spirit, God has put gatekeepers. When you come to real men and women of God, they are spiritual gatekeepers. And that's why when they pray and agree with you, things happen right away. Because why? They have been given the authority by God to hold the keys to that gate. Somebody said gatekeeper. Oh, open the gate. Yeah, you only, only asking, you know. Say gatekeeper. Gatekeeper. Open the gate. Open the gate. Because I'm telling you, this ministry, you all ain't seen nothing yet. And if it's coming to the ministry, it has to be coming to you all now. Come on, come on. Amen. Come on, come on. Let's be real here. Let's be real here. Let's be real here. Okay. But now here's the thing. He says... Who shall say? Well, you remember when John was in the Isle of Patmos and he was going through all that stuff? He was down in the toilet. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying there's feces upon the urine, all that kind of stuff on him down in there and everything. What happened to him? He got up in a praise down in there and he began to talk to the Lord. And automatically, what happened? He says, I went in the spirit. You understand? He ascended. He went up. God breaks you down. Hey, hey, hey. Say, oh, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. You hear me about God breaks you down. To bring you up again. Second time around. You get the point? Huh? Alright. Let's bring it home a little bit. The building that we're getting, the man don't know why to this day he tells us break it down. He said break it and transport it and bring it in. Yeah. But let me tell you something. You know why he did that? Because <coughs> I said, Carl, God says, <coughs> the first cut that is made, he will move. Ask him. So I asked the man, he said, the Lord told me to come and see the prophet. I said, well, okay, are you? I'm here. I said, well, why did he send you to me? Okay? Bye. Now, guess what? When he finished talking to me about how he want to bless the kingdom, I said, is this the best you can do? Hello? Hello? Ah, <laughs> uh, you want to see your... See, 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 see. See, you're going to follow what's the sign and one that's going on here. If anybody tell you them people ain't for real, say, hey, look at the signs and the wonders. If only for that, believe on the name of the Lord. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? And turn your soul unto salvation that God may help you and heal you and bring you into a place where you need to be in to get into your destiny and all that good stuff. You understand what I'm saying? But now watch this. When I say, is this the best you can do? He said, well, I can add some more to it. I say, okay. So now he adding some money to it. Oh! <laughs> but I want some money. And he going away. Now you better understand this is the only time she come back again. I'm gonna say, is that the best you can do? <laughs> do you understand? Where we at? Huh? Watch, watch this now. So watch, 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 watch. He says, now who can ascend? Ready? He that had clean hands and a pure heart. Who had lifted up his soul unto my knee, nor sworn to secretly. Now here's the thing, y'all. Those of the workers of the word, be faithful, be consistent. Don't drop rank. Don't show up to half a service. Don't show up to one service a week. Don't show up to a three-quarter service. Be here. Be busy. Be about the things of God. Be consistent. Be faithful. That's why I bless them tonight. I say, God, even in his sickness, he said, I'll bring the bread. He asked me. He said, he say, um, I'm not feeling well. He said, well, it's okay. He said, I'm not going to be there tonight. He said, that's okay. He said, because if not, if you want me to come, he said, I'll come. I said, no. Because after I pray with him, see, wisdom says, what? He's old, he's tired, he's been doing some stuff. He's been going a million miles a minute. He's been doing some financial stresses and stuff. And God says, no, just give him the candle. And let me tell you something, by times I give him the red candle. He said, oh, he said, I'm going to light this when I get home. He said, I'm going to burn the light out of this thing. <laughs> you he stepped right off in that alone. See it? You understand what I'm saying? 
Lift up your head, all you gates. What he says, what? You've got to be faithful to me first, is what he's saying. Amen. So where's your fasting life? Where's your prayer life? Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. How are you going to get these gates to move? How are you going to go through the realm of the spirit if your flesh is over your spirit? Uh oh. But when you fast and pray, the more you fast and pray, what happens is that flesh begins to break down. You understand what I'm saying? And as that flesh begins to break down, here's what happens. Ready? Somebody say, shift. Watch your shift. Watch your shift. He say, what? Call a solemn fast. Call the assembly together. Call a solemn fast. He said, you can't get nothing done. He said, we're going to break through. So we had to go up in the realm. He said, what? We call the fast. After the first week of fast, what happened? We get so much results. Everybody say, can we stay? I say, God, these people love you. Before I can say, y'all can stay if you want to, y'all ask me, can we stay on the fast? Because you got so much results. Because what's happening? Your spirit man is way down here, and your flesh way up here. You understand? Your mind, your really emotion, the things you can see, watching TV and playing video games, all this kind of stuff, conversation you have with people, all these things you be doing. Driving the car, people getting on your nerves, shopping and all this kind of thing, can't sleep, doing all this kind of stuff, getting people calling you, getting on your nerves, you know, all the morning working, and you know, just life. And all that stuff got your flesh riled up. And your spirit way down here. And when you, <coughs> and you start to fast, when you start to fast, your flesh is coming down. Because your spirit was like this, in a strangled hole. And as your flesh comes down, your spirit begins to open up and the flesh begins to come down. And close. And then there's a switch. Amen. And what? The spirit man is on top. Keeping the flesh under subjection. Do you understand? He said, now that your flesh is dead, you can come up. Amen. <laughs> See? Don't come get in the spirit that his flesh is dead, y'all. Now, come on. You be in a hole when somebody peeing and pooping on you all the time and dropping all their garbage and whatever they want in that hole on you. Sooner or later, one or two things can happen to you. You can have a heart attack and die or a stroke and die. Or if you know the Lord, you can say, God, anyway you bless me right now, I'll be satisfied. You know what you'll say? Lord, I know you're with me. It don't feel like it, don't smell like it, but I know you're with me. You understand what I'm saying? And it'll pull your body, it'll pull you. It'll pull your spirit, it'll pull your spirit, it'll pull your spirit right out of you. So he says, now what? In order for us to go up, he said, the flesh got to die. And then what he says, he says, when the flesh dies, he shall receive the blessing. Ooh. You only read what I'm reading, right? Yeah. I don't read what I'm reading, what's five. When your flesh dies and vanity and all that stuff and all that stuff you swear through deceitfully and all that corruption in your heart and all that junk going down there, you understand what I'm saying? You get rid of all that stuff. Then what happens? He shall receive the blessings from the Lord. And the righteousness from God of his salvation. Yeshua to God of our salvation. Hmm? Bar Hashem. Yahweh. Blessed is he who comes. You understand? Yeah. In the name of the Lord. His name is what? Yahweh. He's the Rahasi Yeshua Hashem. He's the bread of life. Hey, 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 hey. Let's bring it down. Let's bring it down. But he says, this is the generation that seek his face. What was I doing earlier this evening? Speaking in faith. Yeah. I don't just get this like that, y'all. Before every sound would come in, I better go seek him. I ain't gonna play around with his people. If he send one, I'm not gonna play with that one. If he send two, I'm gonna play around. If he send a house full, I'm not gonna play around. I ain't gonna never play around with his people, y'all. Amen. See, you gotta get it. You gotta seek his face every time. Hmm? Sometimes I lay down my bed and I can't get him, so he just talking to me. And I just crawl in. I say, Lord, I need some kind of sleep. You understand? But now he says, What? Lift up your head. Oh, ye gates. Be lifted up your everlasting doors. You understand what I'm saying? Lift up your heads, oh, ye gates. Come, somebody say that. Lift up your heads, oh, ye gates. Now you know what we're doing right now? We're speaking to the gates in your life. Y'all better hear this, I'm telling you. Follow us in the spirit now. Follow us in the spirit where we at. Say it again. Lift up your heads. Lift up your heads. Oh, ye gates. Oh, ye gates. See, it's a lot of blockage right there. Ain't just one. Hey, you, you gotta get it. See it? But you can say this because you have a clean heart and pure heart. And guess what? You lift up your soul to vanity. You don't get rid of all that junk. 
You don't tell them you're playing hollow ball, you know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? All that stuff, you don't bring it at his feet. We don't leave it there. We don't make our decision. We say, now God, we going on with you. He said, okay now. Since you're doing all this. He says, speak to the gates through my authority. You see? Yeshua, the God of our salvation. He's given us the authority because we've come to the cross. You see it now? And when we speak to the gates, who comes in afterwards? What is this? Uh oh. There you go. Let the glory of the Lord rise. You see, you see, you gotta get it. Let the glory of the Lord see it. Rise. Huh? You see it? There you go. The praises. When the praises go up, it pleases him. Remember? Huh? When the praises go up, it pleases him enough, he says, okay, whatever you need, I'll give it to you. See? So he says, Lift up your head, all ye gates, be lifted up, ye everlasting door, and the king of glory shall come in. Now, who's the king? Him. Who's the king? Yeshua, I don't know. What is it? Who is this king of glory? Who is Huh? Yeshua HaMashiach, your head, wild head, your host, your way of hosts, the mighty one of Israel, that is strong in battle. His name is Michael, Lord of hosts, captain of the army. Do you understand what I'm saying? He who came to seek and to save that which was lost. He who's got all power. He says, listen, call upon me. He said, I'll do some stuff. You don't believe I can do. Hello. Mm -hmm. Huh? Do you understand? So we're children of the king. So guess what, y'all? We got to ask the king a question tonight. The way he was situated, is this the best he can do? Ha, ha, ha. See why I told you to write it down? Because see, you can need this when you go to pray this week. Ask him. This is the best. If you're really smart before you get out here, you'll ask him before you go to the door. See, that question is anyway. Hallelujah. Because why? We have come to a place of opportunities now, you all, in the Spirit of God. And this is the second time around for the blessings. So now. Boy, trying to, trying to, mm, 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 mm. He says, verse 10, who is this king of glory? You hope you of hope. He is the king of glory. Now, when he repeats himself, two things happen now. Blessings break forth on the right and on the left. Every time he repeats himself, gotta remember now. You know what that means? He's moving straight in the volume of the book. See, everything that was written of him. See, his footstool, see, huh? Everything is written of him. Everything, Carl, everything is written of him. Everything. Everything is written of him. See it? So he says what? Let the glory of God rise. So let's find out what happened. Let's backtrack a little bit. The Lord spoke to me. Concerning many things, showed me many signs and wonders about to hit the earth in many different places. But particularly tonight, I just want to amplify one point. Another name for the palm oil is pilgrim. Pilgrim. And the Lord spoke to me. He said, The pilgrims came here to do a work for me, to get it. And you know what happened to the pilgrims? They became a type of one. You better hear this. See? So now that move of the spirit is dead. See it dead right there, dried up. You see it now? Mm -hmm. So everybody who's trying to go back and find that old anointing from way back then, that went from great grandma and great grandpa and then different spirits you deal with today. Uh oh. You understand? Now he says what? Because Babylon is everywhere all around you. He said, I got to take you into the dry places. So he takes us where? Into the desert. Where there's no water, where there's no life. You understand? And he said, now listen. Use your might and your power that I've given to you to what? To cause this desert to bring forth a harvest. You see it now? Do you know that takes an anointing, a true anointing, 
to go into the place where the crack house and the dope house and every kind of thing in the house going on, all that kind of stuff. And God said, I want you to go down there where they ain't got no money, where they got all kind of highlights and things. All I want to do is give them my word. And the word will bring them out every time. All they got to do is believe. See it? Huh? What he says, in order for them to believe, you got to be consistent. Uh oh, there you go. Your life will be. Huh? Who are we? Messy on the people of God, living in a culture of holiness as a lifestyle and covenant so somebody else can see and fall in the light. Huh? Yeshua is the light, he's the light of the world. We just sang it tonight, ever shining in my soul. Do you understand? Huh? You see it now? You see why he says praise is coming for that praise? You see it now? See all the songs on the phone again today tonight? Hmm? You see it now? By the time as we hit this last scripture, y'all say, Whoa! Somebody should say, who right there? Because let me tell you something. This going to rock your socks when he's about to do. And what he's already doing. And what he will continue to do. But first he's going to see our start to his kingdom every step of the way. I want you to read that. So the pilgrims came in and they messed up some stuff. God said, now here. In this end time now, I'm going to pour up my spirit. And there's going to be a new wave in the dynamics of things going on here. There's going to be paradigm shifts and all that kind of stuff. And we, we come to all of that. He said, now listen. He said, all I want you to do is Jeremiah 6 and 16. Go back and find the old path. Walk ye therein. John 4 and 34. He says what? Now the media is to do the work of me who sent you and to finish it. So he wants to finish some stuff that was started by the old folks. You understand? You see it? You see it now? You see it now? You see it? Okay. So in that now, them old folks used to fast and pray. So when they used to fast and pray, we got to double up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh. That's why I told you, I said, God, by the time he finished with us, if you really hear what he's saying to us, you'll be living a fasted life. The Lord told me to tell you all, one year every week, fast. What he just said earlier, he said, obey instructions, right? He said to fast. He said, drink water. You want to go up in the realm of the spirit, you want to stay there in this high place? See, when you're up with the prophet, you're in that anointing and you're there, you're protected. But when you come down, it's like, whoa! Well, see, when you're going with the prophet, you was challenging every principality and power he was challenging. Now you're down in your own room at the house and all hell breaking loose. You're what happened? It's like giving you the secret now. You got to fast and drink. You got to break that flesh down. And your flesh get used to, okay, this is certain time when you fast. Okay, I ain't fooling you. Because I know you're going to fast. Do you know when sickness and disease come to your body, you will tell your flesh, if you don't shut up and quiet down and behave, I'll fast on you. Your flesh will line up, your body will get healed. I'm telling you, that's how I got healed again. So, hello. Uh oh. Woo. Uh huh. See, see it? Because I told my body what to do. I told those cells, they say, You gotta grow. And what's bad for me? You got to go. I'm standing here today. Don't be insane. No. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, so now I'm done. Ooh. Ooh, this is good, ain't it? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Let's go back there. I mean, he said, reiterate this verse 4. He that had clean hands and a pure heart shall receive the blessings from the Lord. <coughs> he says, you call upon me. And I will answer you. And I'll move and I'll give you stuff you didn't even know was yours. I'll do stuff you didn't even know was anything to do. So, I listened to him, and I listened to him. Boy, he dropped a word down your, oh glory to God when he dropped this word down. See, I can make y'all wait for this word. We can, we can conclude with that one. But the point is this, now you are anointing, and we come together, and God says, okay, they're ready to go with you. I say, God, I'm going. He says, well, bring some people with you because that's worship. I thought you all that. I say, well, look, worship ain't complete unless I bring somebody. I say, God, I can't go by myself and all this blessing. 
So I turn around, remember? I said, God, I'm gonna wait. Remember, Carl? I said, I'm gonna wait, God, for these people to get together. So we can all go up together. I ain't selfish. See? But now you it's time to go up. I want you to hear this. I'm be going up to you. David said, I waited patiently on the Lord. You understand what I'm saying? Now that it is time for us to go up. And in going up, it may seem like ain't nothing changing. It may seem like things are getting more and more difficult. But I talked to you all before. When you're in the war, and you don't win the battle, and the adversary throw his last spell, he's on the last one. You ain't looking because you're going forward now in victory. And he she said, oh, Lord, I did. He said, oh, I thought I was defeated. I just told him, what would you say? So now you're going to live by your mouth. You will have what you say. So when you're going up in the realm, you know what he says? The greatest thing that shall happen and it shall be. Huh? You see what I'm saying? Come on. In creation, what did he do? He spoke and what? What? And it was done. He spoke every time. What did he do? He spoke, right? He spoke. He spoke. He spoke us in the existence. You understand what I'm saying? He said, I'll send one word to bring deliverance to you. And the name of that word is Yeshua. See? Uh, he's the light of the world. See? <coughs> Whoa. So now, he says, I bring you as a seed to serve me. In order to serve him in the realm of the spirit, we got to let go our natural mind to the attachments of these things in the earth and just be satisfied with him. See the message now? We had the introduction, right? See the message now? See it now? See it now? We have to what? Be satisfied with just him. See, when you're satisfied with just him, ain't nobody gonna upset you, ain't nobody gonna I mean, aggravate you, irritate you, nothing like that. You understand what I'm saying? Because you know whatever the earth presents right now ain't nothing compared to what he can do for you. Hello. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Hmm? So he sent you into the desert. So in this walking and this experience has been very lonely. It's been hard. It's been dry. It's been dusty. You've been looking for water. And you and you, you told you found some water. You suck on the cactus. Would you say, that ain't good enough. I need something else. Come on, let's be real. You understand what I'm saying? But now, what a lot of people miss is in order for God to restore to you <coughs> all the things that you lost, first you got to be a fighter. Yeah, amen. Do you know the book of Joel, they, they call him a minor prophet? Because they say he wrote the least amount. Everybody else was these orators, you understand what I'm saying? But do you know Joel was one of the most fighting prophets there was? That man was a fighter. He didn't lose a battle. Never. And that's why God could say to him, Tell him after everything was destroyed and I done cursed in Israel and everything dead. He said, now you prophesy that everything is dead. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Everything was gone. Every fruit of every tree was gone. What was left? The palm come through, the caterpillar come through. I mean, they ate everything. Or nothing left was dry ground. He said, now you prophet, go there and prophesy that I will restore when you turn to me. See it? I will restore when you what? Turn to me. So the famine comes, old man can what? Turn to him. To the obedient ones, the blessings come at the same time. As long as they remain, there's seed time, there's harvest. Are we still in the earth? Yep, okay, right. so then we should have some harvest. There. See, all the naysayers that disbelieve the word of God, now they begin to see. And they begin to hear. And he told me today, he said, I'll put the speakers outside. So when you came in, you heard him outside. You see? So it's out there now. They hear me right now. Hey, hey, hey. You understand? So John was a fighter. So he can declare that God said he's going to repay. You know why? Because he had experience. So he spoke a word of faith. But now understand something here. Very important, you all. Well, he says, lift up your head, though you get BF, lift up your everlasting love, the king of glory shall come in. All that was good and fine. But let me tell you something. He says, the things we search for are found in earthen vessels. Who was our earthen vessel that connected to the blessing? It was Abraham and Jacob and Isaac. But do you know who it is God looking for now? 
that spirit of Jacob. I'm not going to turn you loose and tell you what? Until you bless me. See, we're going up tonight. I'm telling you, we're in there. See, we're in the place now where we're turning them loose. Lord, you're saying you are. You got to perform it. You can't let my words fall to the ground because you told me to say you got to do it. See? Paul and McConnell says, oh, boy, he's acting like that. He, he shouldn't have spoken there. You understand? So now when we come to the apostle in the New Testament, Paul has his issues, yes. Paul has some issues, but we all have our issues. He says, some might say it's on me, and some might say it's on God. But how many of y'all have turned some cities upside down? He turned upside down at least four. So how could you poke? <coughs> huh? Get out there and do something. What we have to do is be that light of the world. We gotta talk about what they did. We gotta go and do what he's saying so that some can be saved and not all be lost. Do you understand what I'm saying? See the light of the world. So we gotta what? Go out there and turn some stuff upside down. And in order to do that, first you gotta take over the prince of the power of the air. See? Remember when they told us we wasn't gonna last? See, we hear me expanding and we going and we showing and I mean we showing up going. You understand what I'm saying? Hmm? And God sending more help. Young man in the back there, you see him there looking tired? He been there working with us, tearing that thing down. He was right there neck and then he said, as long as you pick me up, he said, I'll go. Understand what I'm saying? And he's here tonight. Clap your hands. Come on. Give him a okay. So, he went through an experience and he passed from dead unto life. And he's alive because of the words. And God has set him free because of the words. See, you, you gotta understand. It. You see why I pray for the faithful, huh? Dance faithfulness, ministering to him, kept him, kept him alive. What did we pray? And we prayed, but we came here. Remember, we prayed for those that was in prison. And God said, "Why well, I can work for some stuff, and I can fix some papers and all that kind of stuff." See, all y'all got legal stuff. Go, oh, now you can just say, "God, I thank you because it's done." See, you see, see the sign right sitting in the back. It's done, and everything they wronged him with. The judge tell him to clean his record. <laughs> he said, I'll do some stuff what? You thought it was possible. See it? Now if something the judge tell you to clean the record. He may listen to the law. He said, I said. So now watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Let's bring this in. Now we learn to be satisfied with him a little bit. Are we? Hmm? Oh yeah. Okay, well. Let's go a little further then. Because see, when he was transcribing this, there was no periods, no stops, no end. So let's go down to 25. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my what? My soul. See it? Oh my Yod Oh my Yahweh. Oh my God. My Adonai. My Elohim. My El Gibor. The mighty one. I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed that not my adversaries triumph over me. See? You see it now? Ain't that awesome? Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Y'all need to shout right there. Because y'all been waiting. But he said what? You ain't gonna be ashamed. Amen. You've been waiting some of y'all. Come on. Huh? He said, but you ain't gonna be ashamed. You see it? Verse 4, he says what? Now you ask him. Say, show me your <laughs> See? See, see, come on, come on, come on, come on. I want you to respond to him now. See? Say, Lord, show me your ways. See? See? Show me your ways, O oh Lord. And teach me your paths. Huh? Lead me in your truth. Now, did that word say truth or truth? Truth. So what does that what does that say to us? There's only one. True. <laughs> there's a lot of things out there you can say that can be true, but there's only one truth. Amen. So you see it now? We're up there in the spirit, you see? We say now God what? Leave me in the clean clear path and what teach me your ways. So we gotta fast, we gotta pray. He's teaching us his ways. We gotta get in that word, we gotta study some more, we gotta shut some stuff down. We got to call upon him until he answers. When you turn him loose, until he do what we ask him to do. Because why? The kingdom of heaven suffered violence, the violence taken by force. So he says, command ye me this day. And see if I wouldn't open up the window. 
I said that to them. He said, command ye me this day and see if I will not open it up for you. So I don't satisfy the way at. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. See? Watch this. <coughs> Lead me in thy truth and teach me. For thou art my Elohim, Yeshua T, my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. Ministry prayer and fasting day Wednesday, you see? A day he ordained for us to wait on him. Hello. You see it? Remember, O oh Lord, thy tender mercies, thy loving kindness, for they have been ever of old. See the old path? You see it now? Huh? So that old highway is called what? Holiness, see? Hmm? Messianic people of God living in the culture of what? Holiness. Culture of what? Holiness. Culture of holiness as a lifestyle. Keeping covenant with you. Now let me tell you something. When we are too weak to pray and when we don't know what to say as we ought, he remembers Jacob. Jacob was the vessel in the earth that held on to God and prayed for all of us that God would bless us. He said, God, I'm the turn to tell you bless all of my seed. Do you understand what I'm saying? And he spoke this to me. He said, that's your name. See? Yahshua ben Jacob. See it? And all my life has been blessed, y'all. All my life. I could go to a dry place and God would give me favor with somebody that have you I purposefully went to a church one day. Didn't carry no money. I purpose in my heart. I ain't giving no offering. And I'm just done. Though. And I went. And let me tell you something. The man was up there preaching and prophesying and all that kind of stuff. And I'm sitting down in the back there. And I'm listening. And I'm sitting down in the back there, way in the back. He said, man of God in the back there. He said, I see you better now there. I know. So I look up. He said, yeah, you. He said, you know you're a man of God. Come out here. He said, God told me to give you some money. Hello! <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Huh? Do you understand what I'm saying? Huh? He, called, he said, God told me to give me some money. You left home and didn't bring no money. God don't want you to be like that. Here, I'll give you some money. He pushed his hand, he, he pushed out his pocket. He said, I'm going to give you some money. He got and get $50 out and give it to me. Now, let me tell you about the oneness of God. God being true to his word, him being one. Me and my wife is one. So he called us. He said, Born of God, come in. You were saying, Uh oh, you better hear this. You better hear this. When you be one in one spirit with God, would one get all you'll get? Do you understand what I'm saying? He is no respect of person. You see it now? Okay? Now, let's take it a step further. Those that I prayed for, some of them was there. I met them at the restaurant and I said, God, I want to bless you, woman. And she was going in, in Santa Fe over there. And Lord let me stop and talk to her. I said, you'll take a moment. I said, you'll bless your life. So she said, yeah. And I told her what the Lord said. I was in that service and she had them in the same service. And she looked at me and she smiled. And when she smiled, God said, because she smiled at you. He said, I'm going to share with her. And he called her next and gave her some money. Do you understand what I'm saying? Somebody say money coming. My God, you better feel this thing. Y'all better feel this thing. Now you feel it, you better know it. Amen. See, when the feelings go, you got to know. <laughs> oh, glory to God. Let me tell you something. I told my wife. I told her, I told her, I told her, I told her, I told her. I said, honey. I said, I ran off in the spirit of God. I said, God, there's something I need you to do for your kingdom. And the only figure that came out of my mouth, I had a little small figure in my mind. But well, when I open my mouth, out of my belly, see, you gotta get it, see, you gotta put it in my belly. I say, Lord, at least one million dollars. Now, any second of the day I'm expecting. You understand? I say, God, at least right there you can stop with your work in this ministry. Huh? Yeah, because if he's sending all these buildings and he's sending the hampers and he's sending all of this stuff, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The building ain't here yet. We ain't put the building up here yet. And the building, I told y'all, you gotta see this. 
40 wide, 100 feet long building, and it ain't here yet, and it's already filled with stuff. Somebody said, Lord, take me down, bless you, brother. Somebody said, Lord, take me down, blessing, hold on. See, see, y'all gotta believe y'all deserving this. Some of y'all ain't smart, y'all deserving this. Y'all want me to read this last scripture? Because, I mean, if, if y'all ain't deserving this, I don't have to read this one. Uh-oh. But this for those who really do. This, this here? Oh, oh. Go. Somebody say, Lord, Lord, take me down, blessing God. Take me down, down, blessing God. Son, I told you the other day, I said, don't be discouraged. When your game messed up and locked it up, mm-hmm. I took you to the store. I got an extension cord for you. Remember? Yes. That's the first time I ever went to you in a game shop like that. You say, Papa, you don't go. And I remember you in the store. And I spoke to the man. And I asked him about all the systems. And I said, what's the best system? I said, for the one my son won, I said, what's the best system? He said, well, the one that can play the arcade games on the other thing, the 360. I said, what's the price? He gave me the price. I said, okay. I said, let me go talk to the wife. And I said, I'll have to consider some things. You understand? Mm-hmm. But because of your faithfulness, remember the night when God gave you the red candle? Mm-hmm. God said, because of your faithfulness, he answered. You see it? So when you're around here, you're doing things to keep the house of God clean and all this kind of stuff. See, God sees that now. So he's training your spirit now, son, to be a man of God. You understand? And that's how come, what? He lost one day, but he got a better one. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because he didn't complain. See, come on, y'all. Come on. And come tell y'all man. Come on, y'all. Let's be real. You see it? When you don't complain, but obey instruction. You see it now? What he did? He obeyed my instruction. He didn't say, Papa, I want it now. I know you got the money. I want it now. I want it now. I want it now. He didn't irritate me. He didn't irritate me. You see it? When you irritate your parents' children, it causes you to get something less than what you should have got. Amen. Y'all better hear this. Children, every child in here, I want you to stay awake right now. Here, 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 God. Here, God. When you irritate your parents, and you disobey what God says to do concerning your parents, you'll get something, but you'll get something less of Amen. Because that's the kingdom of God now we are for it. When we complain, you write to the verge of your blessing. And you say, God, I am so broke. And he's going to turn around. The angel is right to your door. Waiting on that final praise from you. Waiting for you to get in that special time of prayer. Yes. Wait for you to yes. get that word on and begin to read that word and quote that scripture. And you say, God, your word says I'm blessed going out. I'm blessed coming in. They say the light will do today. Well, God, you got to work it out somehow. Anyway, you bless me, Lord. I'll be satisfied. But I'm going to stay on your word. I'm going to leave what you say no matter what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, I feel God. Oh, I got it. Whoa. Who in there won't be in the living? I mean, Amen. Come on, let's, let's Amen. be real about this. <laughs> Oh, who in here want to be a millionaire for the kingdom of God? Yes, now we get this something. Yes. See, when the praise is over, see, you all better keep it going. Now you all better keep it going. Now you better keep it going. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get them praises up. Do you understand? See, you're in the rain of the spirit. Every time you stop your hand, you say in the battle against the enemy. Do you understand what I'm saying? Against principality, against power. Clap your hands, y'all. Go up and please him. Jacob, mm-hmm. when you praise me, you talk to God. You fighting, man. You fighting. So all ain't see that just now. We're going. Glory to God. I saw. I master right now. Forgive sins everywhere. Mm-hmm. Everywhere. Every discrepancy. Mm-hmm. Lord, I decree right now by your blood and by your word, as your servant God, that you forgive every sin. Represented in this place, where it's thought, word, or deed. Clear the slate now, God, so that there will be nothing that the accuser can hold to their charge to hinder their blessing from this moment forth. I decree it done now. Hey, 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 hey! All right, now. 
man. Isaac. You all ready now? Yeah. You all ready? I don't know who ready by your reaction to this scripture. Anybody heard the Holy Ghost say something just now? No matter what you do, when you want God to really, really, really move for you, you got to come back to the Sabbath, y'all. For that existential blessing. Getting intellectual a little bit, you know. For that something, something extra. Huh? It doesn't make us different. It makes us obedient, y'all. And he says, I want your obedience more than you want your sacrifices. Obey my instruction. Now, Ah, boy. Y'all better get ready for this. Get ready for this. Get ready for this. Get ready for this. You know what? Thank you. He told me to calm down. Let me, let me calm down. Let me you must be known in the spirit realm. Being on the natural realm ain't coming for nothing in this fight, y'all, in this war we in, in this end time. You have to be known in the spirit. And the sons of Stephen, they went to emulate what they saw. He said, Paul, I know. Barnabas, I know. Yeshua, I know. All you have to do. How dare you try to come up here? I don't know you. You understand? You're, you're not known in the spirit. I shared something with them the other day. I said, there's this little old lady I met. Me and someone had a long drop on her horse and everything like that. And I went with minister and minister. And she was ministering with this little woman. She just called people like this. And she just keep whispering. And she got to the next point and she was. And she got to the next point and she was. And she got to the next point and she was. And she got to the next point and she was. And devils would come out and people would get delivered. I mean, all kinds of things going on. The glory of God, glory of God, come down and everything. Like the heavens open up. And at the end of it, she said, y'all will know what I said. To them spirits, I told them. I said, this is it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Anybody watch the movie? Are we there yet? <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. The glory of the Lord must be risen. The gates must be open. The king of glory coming strong and mighty. Are we there yet? Are you known in the realms of the spirit? Can you go to the devil and say, hey, devil is me? When you go in the food store and shop and buy your groceries, and you know that's a devil coming at you who don't like you, is that devil afraid of you running in the opposite direction? Or is that devil bad to see you? Hey, let me put some more trouble on you. Hey, come here. You understand what I'm saying? Are you known in the spirit? Oh, we just passed university and school and upbringing and family for the uh oh and friends and I got to hook up on this one and money and bank account. We just passed all of that junk. Are you known in the realm of the spirit where it comes? Oh, that's why God said years ago, He says only a fasting, praying, consecrated bride is going to make it through. You got to be known in the realm of the spirit. Otherwise, you coming now. Uh oh, and you're going to stay now. You know why? Because God is tired of imposters in the kingdom. That's how we don't want to say that. That's a good place to praise him. The only thing is, stand up on your feet and put your head back and give him a praise. Because you ain't no imposter, and you ain't no ministry man that's going to You all understand? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. One obey. Thank you, Master. Ah, 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 
thank you for filling me in. Hey, Master. Bless your name, God. Ah, bless your name, God. Bless your name, God. Yes. See, you got to go there. See, we in the spirit realm now. You got to be there. We ain't having church now. We in the spirit. On the Lord's day. See, in the Sabbath of him. Come on up in here. See? We're getting prepared. We're getting prepared to go into the eighth day with him. To be there, to dwell with him for eternities of eternities. You understand what I'm saying? The everlasting kingdom of God. You understand what I'm saying? Where he's El Olam. He's the hidden the time that's gone in the endless ages. He transpans time. Because he's the creator of all things. Who has been his counselor? Who has been in his mind? Who told him what to do? He answers to no one but himself. And his word, see? So when you know his word, you can make him be accountable for his word. And you can ask him, is this the best that you can do? All right? Now as you're standing, because this is the posture you want you to be in. You see, because when you stand, and when you stretch right like that just now, and you talk to him, you gotta understand, you was talking to the gates in your life. Now, now, you ready? Isaiah 45. Thus says the Lord to his anointed. To who? Me. Ah! See, y'all in the spirit now. Ha ha. Ha ha. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Whose right hand I have hold? To subdue nations before him. You better hear what God say. See, woman of God, you gotta understand what happened when the water hits you. He said, I come and I put an anointing in your life for you to literally subdue nations. Amen. Oh, you better understand, we ain't about no games here. Oh. He has anointed us to do what? Subdue, subdue nations. nations. Where have you been in your life? Mm. Ha! Hey! Uh oh. Oh, oh, have you been to your neighbor next door? Huh? Oh my goodness. Let's just stop right there. Hmm? He says, I hold you in my right hand. Now what's in the right hand of God? The anointing. See it? See it? You see it? What else in the right hand? See why the footstool got to be here so we can see? Who else we got here? Him. Huh? Who's that? Who's that? Michael. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Sick of <coughs> Shalom. We got your host, you have host in here. The captain of the host, led by Michael, the warrior. The righteousness of him who stands up in the candlestick. You understand what I'm saying? Tiskanu. Huh? He was a clean hand and a pure heart. Who was not a little soul on the Buddha's vanity. Huh? Who was not deceitful. What? Then the fire of God can fall in his life. Do you understand what I'm saying? These are the days of Elijah. They know he shall flow. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be lift up your everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in strong and mighty. Ay, 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 ay. Do you understand now? Whose right hand it is holding you? Do you understand now why you can subdue nations? Hmm? Hmm? So why worry about the news then? Amen. If you got the power to subdue nations. Uh oh. That's right. You remember when I told you all I said, I'm not gonna settle until we bring that rascal and his kingdom all the way down. You get it now? And the Lord show me earthquake coming. Ha ha. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, how the mighty has fallen. All right, let's go. We're going to travel here for a minute. Standing on your feet. Thus says the Lord to me. Amen. Whose right hand I have hold up to subdue nations before him. I will loose the loins of the kings. Somebody said the Bill Gates. 
and the Warren Buffetts and the Soroses. You understand what I'm saying? And the Rockefellers. See, you all know some rich people call on some names. See, speak to them spirits. See, you're in the realm of the spirit now. You can speak to those spirits. And you can take what they got from them. Do you understand? The kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violence taken by four. Right here is where we take it. Amen. Is it my word or, 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 or that's what he's saying right there? It's his word. He said, who says it? Your day, Baba, he says, I will loose the loins of the kings to open before him that have what? Two levy gates. Uh-oh. Oh. You see why we spoke to the gates earlier? Yes. Amen. Huh? Yeah. Huh? So what happens now when the king comes to look at your gate? If it's not levy, what's going to happen to you? He's going to pass you by. Because he's looking for the gate that's been led you in the spirit world. You all better hear God in this Amen. place. Amen. <laughs> I shall go before thee and shall make the crooked places straight and I will break into pieces the gates of brass and cut us under the bars of iron. Now, do you understand what happens when you go to the realm of the spirit where you let the king of glory come in and he comes through the gate? He said, the rest of the gates I'll move for you. Amen. You better give God a praise up in this house. Amen. Amen. He's coming on us to do our part. And then what? He's going to kick in. <laughs> oh! 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 Lord, send the king. Amen. God open their loins to me. Yes, God. If nobody wants, I'll take it all. Take it all. Amen. For your people. See, you could talk like this at this realm. You see it? This is where you command ye him. He said, see if I won't open up the windows. But what he said here, what he said he can do, he can make every crooked part straight. Come on. And he can break into pieces the gates that was what? Him and your stuff. And what he can do? He can cut us under the bars of iron. And then verse 3. Now, see, that's why I can run and shout. If y'all want to stay in your seat, y'all stay right there. But I can make a move. I'm going to change my arena for my blessings to come down to me. Because right here Amen. is where the angel comes in Zedekiah. Yes, Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Oh, glory to God. Y'all better understand. Y'all better understand who it is we serve. Yes, God. Zedekiah comes right in here and says what? And I will give thee the treasures of darkness. Thank you, Lord. And the hidden riches Thank you, of the secret places. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Amen. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my yeah. God. Oh my God. Yeah. What are you saying to do it for? You know what? I can stop. I can stop because y'all I y'all want me going a little bit more? Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. What what do you say? Watch what watch, 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 watch what he says. And I will give thee treasures of what? Darkness. And what else? Hidden riches of what? Secret places. And what? That thou man's know. That who? I alone. See? Huh? Huh? One truth. He always was the Lord our God is what? One. Huh? Amen. Come on now. The one I is am the God of God. Do you understand what I'm yes. saying? One spirit of belief. One mind. One purpose. One focus. King and kingdom. Hey! Hey, Master, hidden riches, hidden riches. Yes, Lord. See verse 4? Remember what I told you earlier? Huh? Look at verse 4. Come on. What, what does it say? First, first sentence says what? For Jacob, my servant, said. Yeah, you see now what I told you earlier? Huh? Who went who in our place the first time? Jacob. Ah, you see it in the word now? Huh? If I tell you what I do when I teach you, I show you in the Word. Amen. You understand? That's why I go on my face before him. They got to show what the prophecy is. Give. <coughs> Something you can live on. Amen. And the words I speak of him are spirit. In their life. Ah. See? See? For Jacob, my servant's sake. But you're going to catch the ram of the spirit now. Who am I? Huh? Yes. Who am I? What is my name? Yeshua. Yeah. What is my name? Yeshua. Yeshua. There you go. See it? The whole way Ben Jacob. Huh? So he said you do it for whose sake? For me! 
Yes, yes, hey, yes. hey, hey, hey! Uh oh, uh oh, see, I told you he says what? We must recognize what? That we are all special and deserving. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Abraham's blessings are mine. I'm deserving, y'all. Amen. I ask him, Lord. I know the price. And continue to pay. I will continue to pay. See? Put my hands in this power. We ain't no turning back. From the kingdom come. Hey, 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 hey. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So he says, for Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect. Mine elect. That's the whole household. You see what I tell you? You got to go together. You see, you see what I see? You got to go together. You see it now? Huh? Israel, right there. See it? Huh? The elect of God. The bride of him. See? Amen. The bride. Yes. They come where? To the marriage cup of the Lamb. Every Sabbath. Come right there. Come right there. You see it? He said what? Upon this rock, I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Why? He said, because I come as fire. See it there? Light of the world. You see what I'm saying? Remember what he said? He fulfilled every one of our promises in the cross. Yeah. Everyone, 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 yes. everyone. See it? See it? So we're standing on the rock. And you're standing on the solid rock. Huh? And you know the power that you got. How Shatan shall not prevail. See, old time gospel song. When you're standing on the solid rock. And you, you know, know the, the power, power that, that you got. got. Satan shall not prevail. Satan shall not prevail. When you're standing on the solid rock. And you know the power that you got. Satan, you can't prevail. Satan, you can't prevail. See, at this realm, at this realm, at this realm, he can't prevail. He'll come out one day and he'll feed 49. See? Huh? Is this word tonight? Is this word? He says, so what now? What's, 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 He says, I have even called thee by name. He knows your <laughs> name. name. He's smiling back there. He, is this word for you? Is this a good word? So when you think he don't know, he does. He said, I know you by what? See, y'all been right in the spirit there. And the first verse when he said, Thus says the Lord to his anointed, and y'all said, Me. Well, see, he letting you know. I know your name. And I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. What's our surname? Ah. What's our surname? Let Christ be formed. Mm -hmm. So whatever your name is, your surname is Christ. Ha! Wow. Woo! Okay. Let's read it again. Some of y'all, y'all, wake up on that one right now. Watch it. He says, Come on. He says what? I have surnamed thee. You. I give you my surname. Yeshua what? Christ, the anointed one. See it? So, if he gave us his name, <clears throat> then we got to be heirs and joint heirs with him. Understand that we are deserving. <laughs> Man, I'm pulling some of y'all like, I'm pulling on teeth right now. But I can't leave nobody behind. <laughs> so if I have given you a title of honor. See. See. Amen. He says what? Watch this. I am the Lord. Ooh. And there is none what? No one else. No other. And there is no what? No other. Besides, I girded thee, though thou was what what? Not known. Why? That they may know from the what? Rising of the sun and from the west. That there is none else besides me. I am. The Lord, there is none of us. Amen. I formed the light and created darkness. I make peace and I create evil. I am the Lord that do all these things. Clap your hands for me. Now. We being a house of signs and wonders and miracles, God's gonna perform something now. 
that you didn't expect. He's going to move in an area in your life that you didn't even know you needed to be in. I'm telling you, we told you. 3.30, he brought this word to me. He says, tell me. So I'm telling you now. Okay? Expect it. Expect the unexpected. Amen. All you know is going to be real good. You understand? Now everybody put your hands up. Get them up as high as you can get. Get them up as high as you can get. I need no movement right now. I need everyone to be still and know that the Lord is coming. I don't know how name. I only want to be saved. Just be still. Alright. Put him down. Now he told me to tell you this. He's going to do what he says. And do better for He showed me. The third thing on the altar was money. And this anointing, I want everyone to get a dollar, 50 cents of that, and whatever you can. Put it here as a memorial to him. As a reminder to him that he swore by his name, giving you his surname, that he's a move for you, and I mean now. Do you understand how serious he is? Do you understand? And then he told me to pray after this. See, act of obedience, that's all it takes. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Oh, you see why God's a move for you? But if you thought you understood him before, y'all can really understand him now. Y'all can really, really understand him now. Our oh, master, we bless you now. Yeah. Gotta do it. Calling for us all over. I may mean, have to, gotta do it. Gotta do it, bro. Ah, master. Ah, master. Ah, master. Signs and wonders, God is moving. Everybody in it? Everybody in it? Okay. So he's very precise. This and only is he's very precise. Now. That's the first lady. Come on, before they know me, before they know me, shift. Come on. Come on. There's a window. There's a window here. There's a window. That's your name, Master. Everyone, focus. Focus on the realm of the spirit. Are you there? I'm getting ready to pray, y'all. I'm getting ready to pray. Now, far above us, 
Make your way down to our very doorstep and touch every surname in this place. Ah. Bring down Zedekiah. Seek on the hidden riches and pour it upon us that we literally will not have room enough to receive ah, it all. Ah, yes. But according to your word, Master, we put you in remembrance of it that you said that we shall lend to many nations yes, God. and never borrow. Amen, amen. Do as you said, God. Do as you said. Yes, do as you said, God. We will not turn yes, you loose God. until you manifest yourself. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands, all ye gates. Be lifted up, ye everlasting doors. King of glory, move now. King of glory, Lord God, strong and mighty, mighty in battle. Move, I say. Move, I say. Say on our behalf. Rain down upon us. Pour it upon us. Let the skies pour down your righteousness. Let the earth open up and give us of our treasure. Let it bring forth your surety, the spirit of true salvation. Yes, God. And let your righteousness create a thing in the earth. And man will see and know that you are God. Yes. And you are God alone. Yes. Baru, Haba, Hashem, Adonai, <coughs> Yahweh, Master. Yes, God. We give you thanks. Thank you, Lord. And we give you praise. Yes, God. And it is done now. Hallelujah. And it is sealed for yes, everyone. Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Give him a praise. Amen. Give him a Hallelujah. Hey! 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 Hey!